Antarctica has not always been an ice covered continent. Millions of years ago, there was only one super continent in the southern hemisphere. But many people don't know today's Antarctica was a part of continent of Gondwana. At that time, there was a warm climate in the southern polar region. So the super continent must had have forest rich in trees and animals. Did you know this? Today we bring you about 250 million years old forest. We invite you to watch this video till the end without missing a single second. You will be able to know unknown facts if you have not joined us yet. Subscribe us and click the bell icon. So far, some 280 million years old plant fossils have been found in Antarctica. So it is no longer a secret that Antarctica must have been a fertile forest with trees and animals. How did such a fertile forest become pile of ice today? To understand it, let us travel to the time when the supercontinent Gondwana existed, about 540 million years ago. A supercontinent existed in the southern hemisphere. The supercontinent was made up of countries like South America, Africa, Madagascar, Australia, and India, which quickly existed within that supercontinent. But about 25 million years ago, that huge continent broke up into pieces. Antarctica was located closer to the equator than a southern hemisphere continent. Therefore, Antarctica had a warm climate. Under this warm climate, the trees would have grown a uh, abundance. Also, trilobite animals, a type of marine life, have uh, also lived in Antarctica during this time. Remember that the fossils found in Antarctica today belong to the forest of that supercontinent millions of years ago due to the fact that is was the largest forest when it was a part of the supercontinent Antarctica. But when the Gondwana continent broke up and separated, Antarctica stopped inside the South Pole. Therefore, the warm climate in Antarctica changed the cold climate. As a result, the land that was a once a fertile forest turned into the pile of ice. Some scientists believe that the destruction of tropical forest in a side effect of Permian Triassic mass extinction. The Permian Triassic was a mass existent in the 90% organism perished. Emissions of large amount of greenhouse gases are said that they are responsible. So, by studying the fossils of those ancient forests, we can understand how greenhouse gases and climate change have affected the life on Earth. Have you ever dreamed that Antarctica, which has become a mass of ice, must have been a lush forest billions of years ago? If you haven't subscribed to us, subscribe now and click the bell icon. Then as soon as a new video is posted, you can receive a notification. So we say goodbye for today with the hope of coming back with a new video.